line mine up towards the top of my paper, and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to off-center mine. So now that'll show behind. So now we have a decorative paper behind our flower. And when you open it up, you still have a space that you can write instead of having this paper glued directly onto the yellow. Now you can still uh, cut out a sentiment if you want on your Cricut, and you would just put it on this sheet in itself. Um, I'm not going to do this yet because I'm going to save this card for future use, and later on I might send it to somebody and put thinking of you or get well soon. Um, so I'm just going to leave it blank for this moment, but you can go ahead and do that. Now, since I can't use the ribbon that I fell in love with today, and I have to wait, I'm going to go ahead and pull some of the purple out of the card, because we have so much yellow, and I'm going to use this purple to accent with. So, I'm going to do the whole length of the card, so I'm just going to measure out what I need, and I always cut more ribbon than I need. And what I do is I like to lay out my card so I can get a general idea of the width. And then I run glue down the length of the card. If I don't mess up, I do. Okay. So I roll it down the length of the card. And I'm going off center there. And then I lay it where I want it. That's not going to work because I won't be. Yes, it will. What am I thinking? Okay. So now I lay that down like that. I flip it over. Bring it up and underneath. Over to the side to where I want it once again. And I want to bring this down a little bit. That's what I love about working on wax pa uh, paper. It really releases easily. And this side went up a bit, so I'm going to have to reset it. So I'm going to go straight across there. There we go. And so when I come over here, I'm going to open this up now so I can get a better look at it. I'm just going to come over here and tie a little bow at the edge of this. And so I'll just cut it like that. And I'll go ahead and turn it over and roll off any of the ATG glue that I don't need. And that's what I love about this glue. It just rolls right off. And I'll just put that up there. Oops. And then for the final touch, I will go ahead and use some memory glue, uh, memory glue pen. And I'll put some of that on the back of this button. And I will t attach it to the center of my card. So there we have it. It's all said, all done. It's a very quick project, very fast. Once again in the video, I'll give you all the dimensions of how I cut it. This is straight off the wild card cartridge. You just have to pick your papers that you want to do the design. It's quick and easy, and once again, when you go to um, do your card, make sure you print out or cut out some kind of sentiment for this portion of it. I'll add that later when I know who I'm sending it to. And by doing the extra step, this gives you a whole place to write your message, and so that way people um, aren't seeing the message underneath the flower. So I hope you like this project. Again, happy crafting, and thank you. God bless. Have, have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone.